beautiful. I am going to be creating some resin flowers today. So if you're going to be joining me, you've got an opportunity to ask me any questions and this is just going to be how I create them. So it's my way. So when you do join me, let me know that you're here. That would be amazing. I'd love to be able to know who you are, where you're from uh, and come chat with me. And what I am now going to do is start to prepare my resin. I'm going to be using hopefully the last of Mastercast, which is the one to one. And that will be done. And we're going to do flowers, but with a twist. So they're going to be blue. And I'm going to be working with the blue colours that I work for. Because people that know me know I have a theme. Well, hello, Rebecca. Welcome. So board one is going to have more of the darker colours. Oh, I pulled the wrong one out there. Luckily, I solved that. So it is going to be a um, the dark ultramarine. No, actually, I've picked out three wrong colours. Just bear with me. I want to get the other two. I thought I was all prepared. It was supposed to be the deep indigo. Darkest indigo is what I wanted. And I also wanted... I am here, just getting my colours. I'm going to be using the darkest indigo, which is resin 8. We're going to be using the turquoise transparent. And we're going to be using blues, because I'm really drawn to these colours at the moment. And I live in a world of fantasy, so why do my flowers have to be colours that are actual colours? We're going to use the Milky Seafoam and the Aqua Blue with the Magenta because they made a lovely colour and we're going to have a go with that. And with each one of them, um, there is going to be the Super Sparkle White in my resin. So I've made sure that my board is level and the film that is on top of my board, which you can see, is a iridescent film. It's a fairly thick one, but it's what florists use in there. Hello, Cosmic Carol, you made it. Welcome, Johnny. Welcome, Geraldine and Karen and Rebecca. Um, I am going to put my respirator on because I'm mindful that I've done four days lives. This will be my fifth one and I want to try and protect my lungs. I'm feeling a little bit horsey today and I would always recommend that you use PPE and use a respirator. So you're going to have to tell me when I'm speaking if it's going to be loud enough for you to hear. All right, so we, what could be better than a glorious day in the sunshine here in the UK and a life from Sharon? Oh, Rebecca, you know how to get brownie points, don't you, from me? You've made my day. <laughs> right, I am just getting my gloves. I'll try not to walk away from the microphone too much. But I'm going to get my gloves and mix up my resin. And we're going to take it from there. See, I got myself so prepared. I thought everything was out that it needed to be. But no. No, it wasn't. So, how have you all been today? What you all been up to? What are you working on? And what do you think to my colour choices of blue flowers? <laughs> so it's going to be pretty much like a sculpture. You want to make sure your board is level. You want to make sure you've got the correct substrate. With this, I just want the iridescent film at the back because I keep those on the back of my flowers. And, yeah, I've got my area dust-free, hopefully. Got my colours selected. We, like a sculpture, will mix it and then we'll have to wait and we have to wait until it's going to start to harden up and then we start to pour it when it's all tacky. So I'm considering doing very small petals this time. I don't know. I want to mix it up living dangerously. I've also considered if I want to um, put crystals at the edge of them, but I think that might be a bit overkill for flower petals, but we'll see. Anyway, bear with me. Johnny, can you keep our guests entertained while I just go and bend over and get my resin and start mixing? And then once it's all mixed, I am definitely then going to use my respirator. Yeah, here we go. Here's the first drop of the day. There are my things. I will turn the camera around a bit later, but at the minute, I want you to try and have as much view of what we're doing here as possible. I'm seriously hoping that I can use the last of this resin of the Mastercast. I can't wait to chuck away this sticky, sticky bowls. <laughs> Anyway, let's see what we've got left in here. We're feeling 
uh, but you know, if we get 300 mils out of here, I'll be happy. Uh, we might not even get that out, so I need. Oh, we might have to, have to use two different brands here. I'm not even going to get 100 mil out of this. I always start with a tub that's got the least liquid in there because even though they're meant to be um, the same, they are not. So I'm not going to get virtually anything I need out of this one. So I'm going to park this one because I've got just shy of 100 mil. I'm going to let my resin continue to um, fill up that. And then what I might do is use that for another project later. But I'm just going to let it continue to pour out of there. Karen, my dog's barking at yours. <laughs> it's a way we're connecting, Karen. What can we say? <laughs> Your dog is well, Johnny. That's hilarious. Anyway, I'm just going to continue to let that um, pour out of there, but we're going to move on to a different brand because you don't want to watch resin drip like that. Um, but at least then I can see what I'm working with for the project later. So we have to go to our other brand that we're going to be using now. It's always dramas in Sharonville, eh? You're still having your morning coffee? <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you're enjoying your morning coffee. Right, what brand are we going to be using now? So this is where it's going to get exciting because I have got no idea if this is going to work for resin sculptures. <laughs> we are winging it, people. All right, what I am going to be using is the Cascade. So this one is the Vuba Vista Cascade. And we're going to use this. So this is two to one part. Well, hello, Felicia. Miss Crafting Nook, welcome. You got notified, did you, today? Uh, behind the scenes, I'm just struggling with my resin, getting my lids off. So luckily with these cups, it tells me my two to one ratio. So that's good. Oh, here we go. He's going to make your dogs bark again. So I'm going to come down here because I only want 300 mil. And this one falls out quite rapidly, sorry. This is in your camera way, I do apologise, but I just need to see where it's going to go. Now I'm definitely wearing my respirator because this brand has got a very strong sweet smell. And I'm not really a lover of sweet smells. Are you all laughing because your dogs keep barking? <laughs> does not know the power he's just had over TV. So that's my part A and a very small one for my part B. Cascade again. Smell that sweetness. So this might go horribly wrong because this might take a little bit longer to cure. So <laughs> I might have you sat here for about 40 minutes at this stage. Anyway, I don't think it does. I think it cures roughly the same time. Now, for the people that was with me yesterday, just be known, I had to chop two inches of my hair off. Hey Siri, set timer for three minutes. Yes, I ended up getting a little bit of my hair in some resin somehow. And so I decided to sacrifice two inches so that it didn't stick into the rest of my hair. <laughs> yes, he does bark at the Amazon man. That's what he's doing now. It's just, he knows when the, uh, when the bell's going off or the door's going off. Um, yeah. If, by the way, you don't want to wait the whole time, I know time is precious. Come in, go out or whatever time that... Uh, you can spare any time uh, is welcome here and I really appreciate your, appreciate your support. So just remember, thumbs up if you haven't already. That really helps my channel. If you're not a member um, or a subscriber, please consider that. Uh, that's also a great way to uh, support my channel. Just so you know, I've got a collaboration coming up with the wonderful Felicia from uh, The Crafting Nook and also... Um, Lisa Wyatt so we've got a collaboration coming up uh, very early in July so watch this space we're going to hopefully create a nice threesome of goodness and creative designs that's eye candy
Anyway, hello Anita, welcome. Oh, you're enjoying the weather in the garden and yes, you get to enjoy it while I create. So we're going rogue. I was going to use my Mastercast, which is my go-to, but I have virtually none of it left. So not enough to do a sculpture. So I've had to move on to Vuba Vista Coty. And I've got no idea how this is going to respond to one, curing time. So is it, have I got to wait 15 minutes or have I got to wait a lot longer? Or if it's actually going to create nice petals. So we're going on this experiment together. It's quite exciting really, isn't it? Oh, Johnny, thank you so much. <laughs> this is my, how many days have I done lives now? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. This is my fifth day and I set myself a seven day challenge to get back on the horse and do live so that I can work on my presentation skills. And because it was so disastrous that I did on last Sunday, I might never have done another one. So I decided, no, get back on that horse and get out showing. Um, so Felicia, how did your um, projects go? You crisscross go, criss go last night. I had to go to bed before uh, they were all created. I would love to know how that is. It's quite good with no bubbles, lots of little micro bubbles in there, but we're going to wait and we're going to go with blue flowers. So I know that flowers are not normally blue, but they are in my fantasy world. Hey Siri, stop. And that's what we're all going to. So that does appear mixed in nicely. I've got no threading, no crystals, no gooey silky worms. So we're all good. What I will do though is prepare, because preparation is king. I will prepare, I'll put my super sparkle white in there from the colour cottage. That'll hopefully give that nice sparkle. And we are going to just use a spoon. A little bit goes a long way. All the white does disappear. Oh, I put a load in there. <laughs> now Felicia, don't say, I can't even speak. Don't forget to send me an email with your address so I can send a few little surprises your way. Uh, I think there's a, um, an email group being created for us for us collab. So if you pop it in there, much appreciated. Oh, you've got a check resin kit yourself, Jack. Jack Cat. All right. There we are. So you may or may not be able to see there's a nice even distribution of glitter through there. Probably a little bit too much. I went rogue today. And I am going to start to distribute. So on one side, it's going to be the darkest indigo, my new love of colour. And we're going to then have the light blue pigment. And then we're also going to have the transparent turquoise. Now... On the other one, we're going to go for a little bit of milky milky. So we got the milky sea foam green and the milky aqua blue. Those did bleed in beautifully with this magenta. So I'm hoping that if I put a, a like a blob of each with that, it might create some nice natural effects or streaking in our petals. And with these, I'm thinking maybe one of each colour on the flowers put together. That might also work really nicely. Oh, not too much sleep again. I hope you feel better soon. All right, let me entertain you. I am going to spread. I don't think. So I'm thinking out loud where I'm going with my colour. I think that I'm going to need more than this. Just checking I've got no crap in my cups. Nobody likes crap in the cups, but unfortunately I seem to get some a lot. Uh, and I'm just going to spread my resin. I might keep some clear back just in case I'm inspired to add a different colour to it. I might not because when I distribute this, it might be all I have. Alrighty. Has anybody got any questions when it comes to resin sculptures or resin flowers? 
or resin in general. We've got quite a few artists in here today that can help share any knowledge, inspiration, wisdom. I think between us all we've got that. All right, so I can't leave any clear. I have used it all. I thought I might have had some left over. But I just want to make sure I've got a nice distribution of colour. And I've just realised that I probably want to leave <clears throat> or have a little bit more magenta. Um, just taking some from A and B. And at this stage, I am going to go into Darth Vader mode. And you are going to start hearing me breathing through my respirator. But I hope you understand. Miss Seashell, you come for a visit. Oh, Alicia, you bring over such beautiful guests this way. All right. So as always, OCD Sharon is going to give this a nice clean out here. Uh, just so that I can reuse that again and it's not going to go tacky. Now, I am set up for my live later as well, which will be coming back to see how I put these flowers together, but also to carry on experimenting with that cell base that we've got. Now, version one. So this is the first attempt at it, uh, but it had some definite promise in it. So I love this area here. I don't know if you can see it with a high shine, so much depth. Uh, not necessarily this area, so we'll come back and I'll cover over this again. But for the first experiment with it, I feel like I can go back now and perfect that a little bit more. So that's what this evening one's going to be about. And then this was the other one that had more better results. It's actually pretty. It's quite floaty. But I am going to give this another go and improve that one, hopefully, tonight. So that'll be part of the live as well as putting my flower together. And who else do I have in here at the minute? So, hello purple. I think I've said hello to everybody. For the people that's watching in the background and maybe not talking, welcome. Thank you so much for spending some of your afternoon with me here. I hope the people that's in the UK are enjoying this rare sun. I hope everybody else who's got a headache is starting to get no headache and feeling better. <clears throat> I really do not enjoy this resin smell. Um, people that work with resin, do you understand what I'm saying as far as you can work with the resin and the resin itself might be beautiful, but you might not enjoy working with it because you either don't like the smell or maybe you have a reaction to it. I really, I found that for me, I really do not like sweet smelling resin. It gives me a headache. I don't like sweet smelling um perfume either so i think i must have a i must have a something within me that likes strong tones rather than um very floaty sweet flavor anyway i'm just rambling so i'm just going to take my gloves off i hope you can hear me still i know i'm behind the scenes so you're not really getting anything exciting but i'm just popping my big respirator on now and i would really appreciate a thumbs up oops uh, when I start speaking, just so that I know you can hear me. If you can't hear me, Johnny, <laughs> the crafty nook, everybody else in there, just let everybody know why I sound like Darth Vader. This is the one I'm putting on. I've gone for a full face one so that I can actually protect my eyes as well from some of those floaty buttons. But I'm going in. Now, I'm not too sure... If you could let, can you let me know? Because I'm going to have to probably shout. Can you hear me okay? Sharon to Earth, can you hear me okay? Can you hear me? I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> hey! Okay, if I start to breathe very heavy, I do apologise. Wearing a respirator is not a very nice, pleasant feeling. It really isn't. But it's a necessity <laughs> to protect your lungs with resin. And I went rogue for four days. And today I'm at the point where it's no. Nope. The respirator's going on. 
so if you're hearing heavy breathing i am not normally a heavy breather i'm just trying to survive in my mask Okay, so I'm now going to come in and mix up my pigments. Oh, I do feel claustrophobic when I wear a mask sometimes. Do you ever feel like that? All right, midnight. Now, darkest indigo. My new favourite colour and one that if you haven't already invested in, I recommend that you give it a go. It is eye candy. It's from Resin 8. It is opaque, but uh, you still get a little bit of transparency. So I've just been asked about, can you put, uh, um, was it glasses? You can, but mine is, oh, mine's got the glass built into it. All right. Deepest indigo. Oh, from Netherlands, beautiful day. All right, look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but it is lush. All right, we're going to use one stick at a time so that I can recycle. And just wipe it off and we go in there and recycle. I start to settle down in my rhythm with my breathing with a mask after the first few minutes. To start with, I seem to fight it as though uh, it's not, not nice. But then I get up into my creative zone. So that's the light pale blue. And I t tend to forget about it. Anyway, shut up about the ventilator, Sharon. Welcome, Christina. I hope that you are well. I hope everybody that's joined. Oh my word, Petra! VIP! Whoop, whoop, whoop! We have the wonderful Petra here. Petra, I've still not got my hands on any of your beautiful pigments yet, my lovely. I hope you're well. I hope that you're creative and I hope you're enjoying your new studio. Have you settled into that beautifully? All right, this one is turquoise. Oh, bless you, Karen. You had a pre hour panic attack. So you know exactly where it is that I'm referring to. All I keep thinking is, well, imagine if you didn't wear it and you damaged your lungs, you'd be permanently having that panic attack. So it's, you have to do the uncomfortable things sometimes for the greater good. <laughs> Stacey's watching. I won't tell anybody. You're not in here, Stacey. All right, so we've got three colours there. We're going to do all the petals. Oh, oh Petra, sending you love. We are here thinking of you. And your channel is amazing. So... We've got quite a few creatives in here today, so I'm really happy about that. All right. Oh, breathe, Sharon. Breathe the mask. Magenta. I'm moving my pigments out of the way just because I am accident prone and I've got OCD. Just checking I've got enough in there. That's the beautiful magenta. Absolutely lush. It's going to add a nice compliment to these milky milkies. I'm really worried about this resin, how long it's going to take for this resin to cure. <laughs> All right, so the good thing is, I can get rid of that stick. So we're going to go in with the milky sea foam. We're just going to give it a little squirt. I reckon that's enough. Okay, get that off there so it doesn't stain. Oh, I put my, I put my end in. <laughs> All 
All right, so it's quite transparent, but I reckon it'll be a very delicate flower. It's got a beautiful baby blue. I might just add a little bit more. Um, I did this last night, starting a little bit, add a little bit more. I just even, even though it's going to be sort of trans, um, you know, transparent, I still want there to be a nice volume of colour when it's in there. It's definitely a milky, milky. And then this one's going to have a more aqua feel to it. Oh no, have I resin my knob? Oh no, no. <laughs> just bear with me. I think I last night because my hands were so uh, sticky. Oh, this one is Resin 8 Epoxy Pigment Paste. It's called a milk. Oh, no, wait, it's just for you online. Sorry, just for you. Uh, so it's a milky aqua blue. I'm mixing it up. I'm just trying to create myself some flowers. I'm going to do some blue ones. Different tones. Going to have a little bit of magenta in there. And hopefully going to create some nice flowers. I'm not going to create too many because I've not got enough boards out, but we can create some today and then I can do some over another day. The good thing with the flowers is you only have two stages. That's this stage now where we're mixing it up, getting it ready and pouring it. And then the next stage will be to um, sculpt the flowers. So I think I've just been asked, did I... Uh, show you the results of the cell base. Yes, I've already shown it, but I can show you again. I am going to go back in there tonight and we're going to do another version of it and try it again. Just going to clean my gloves and then I'll show you. All right. I think I might flip my camera around a little bit because I have got a feeling. Hey Siri, set timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. I, I feel we're now. gonna have a bit of time until this resin starts to cure. So for the naughty people that's watching my channel that's at work, get on with some work for 15 minutes, you're all right. That's all right, Kat, I'll show you. I'm just gonna... <laughs> yes, that was for somebody that's not called Stacey. All right, so the black one, this is the one that didn't necessarily work out really well with the colours, but love this area here. And this I overworked. So we're going to come back tonight and we're going to add the black and then we're going to come with some brighter colours and try to get something like that in the middle. Delicate. But it's definitely got promise. Definitely got promise. Absolutely love that one. And then the other one we did was this one. Definitely turned out better. But again, I overwent that side. But I'm going to come back tonight and we're going to redo this. So we're going to come back with a white. And um, try and create more of this kind of effect. Uh, but... The blue, if I'd have kept that, absolutely stunning. So, yeah, we're going to go back and we're going to do another version of it. So, I am going to flip you around. I'm going to take my respirator for a little bit now that I've stopped playing with resin. And there's no fumes in here at the minute until I start mixing it again. So, I am going to pop you on a stand and ask any answer any questions you've got because it is now a waiting game uh, apologies you're going to see my awful close-up face again oh is my camera going to allow me to do it oh my gloves are not letting it respond i'm pressing my camera repeatedly but it's not oh there we go and you've even got zeus having a little uh, cry for you all barking so i'm sure you're all going off anyway uh apologies i can't there's no resin in my hands this is the respirator i use it's a beast i think it's classed as a gas one on amazon 
but it's got the right filters in there to protect you. So you basically put that around your nose, same as a normal respirator, but it's got the glass built in there. And it actually does help uh, when it comes to um, protecting your eyes as well. So consider that. But I'm just going to have a look at the comments and then I'll flip you back round when we're ready uh, to do the resin and I'll put my respirator on again. But we've got those colours. So anything going on there? Sorry, my, um, <laughs> my iPad's there, so you've got my face right in there. Yes, the half face one I quite like, but it wasn't protecting the eyes. And so the full mask, when you get used to it, is actually good, but it is um, uncomfortable to start with. Yeah, the, the, it does push your glasses up. Uh, maybe next time when you do for it, thinking about the full one. Um, I think as well, the full one, I don't know if it's a psychological thing, but I don't know if you've noticed, once you start working with resin, your skin can dry out a lot more. Uh, so... Wearing the mask hopefully is going to protect the skin, but I've got lots of pores in that anyway. Um, crafting only has a half one as well. You make sure you look after your lungs as well. Can you see me nodding? <laughs> oh, you you are nodding then. Have you noticed then that it dries out your skin? Johnny? <laughs> uh, back? Oh, You know what? He makes a lot of noise, but he's lovely. And, and he only actually barks for the Amazon people. Hello, Pretham. So for people that don't, uh, wasn't here, I'm sorry for the light. It's all set up for when we go back. I have poured out my resin. We're just waiting for it to start to semi-cure. The dilemma is I was using Mastercast 1 to 1, but I didn't have enough. So I reverted to Vuba Vista, which is a nice resin. I just don't know how long it's going to take to semi-cure and we only want to pour it at that stage. I'm hoping it's not going to be much longer. So I'm just trying to entertain. I'm winging it. <laughs> this is the thing when you're doing lives. Um, so I've got three colours that's going to be used on each and we're going to put some petals down. So it'll get interesting soon. If you do need to disappear while we're waiting and come back, I totally, I totally, totally, totally appreciate that. It's not the most exciting thing. Just stood here chatting with me while we're waiting for resin to dry. Cure. Uh, how do you clean the cup? So I have a beautiful kitchen towel nearby and I swipe around and I get as much of the excess resin out. And then I use one wipe, whether it be alcohol or baby, whichever one. And I swipe around it and that all comes out beautifully. I go a lot cleaner cup and then, then to, later today I'll give it a wash out with water just to make sure there's no dust that's been left in there from this. Uh, but then I can reuse this over and over again and I prefer to do that than let it get sticky. People that know me and have been coming to my life know I don't do treacle very well. So if my resin is so cured, it's so thick and to get it out is just hideous. Then the tissue sticks to it and everything like that. Some people leave it to dry and then they peel it out. I don't have a good success rate with that. I get cracks in my cup or it leaves bits in that I can't get out. So it's just my preference. Uh, aren't they just so fun not? <laughs> uh, you're new to resin, Susan, uh, but you're loving this. Well, ask away any questions that you need i do you know what miss felicia i know that you are ocd because your work area is so composed so clean so tidy everything's in its little hooks and everything's as you need it and you have your wonderful husband helping you i'm solo girl here i can't get my neil from downstairs he's currently working but there we go uh are you talking about me being very ocd or you i just made an assumption there uh so Cosmic Carol, eyes dried up and swelled up. I think I need a phosphate mask to absolutely do it. Once I started to get, these are clean gloves, I started to get a little bit of eczema in my eye and it kept going and going and going. And the only reason my eczema has gone there is because I now wear that uh, face full mask. Because if you get little bubbles or I'm just terrible at scratching myself and I'm not aware I'm doing it. That's why I've had resin in my hair. I had to cut two inches off tonight. I get eczema on my arms and I know that Paula talks about she's used jeans uh, to make sleeves for the arms. I actually use, I've got a white coat behind me 
think Petra gave me that idea. I think she's always well wrapped up when she's working with resin. And if you're a massive worker, it is going to get everywhere. No, I am OCD. Well, I think you're OCD. I've seen your room, uh, uh, Miss Felicia. <laughs> uh, but yes, I am. Things go back in its places. And if it's not in its place, I get very stressed. So if you haven't already, give me a thumbs up. If you feel that my channel is adding value, maybe give it a share. Comments are always welcome. Uh, I do have members only content, which gives you more behind the scenes on what I'm doing. So if you want to see my space, I'm going to show them the program I'm editing uh, on the next one. So there's different things out there. Consider that as well. But just watching my uh, channel also is a great help. So thank you all so much. Uh, you've never had those kind of reactions. Must be some allergy reactions. Now, Kat, how long have you been working with resin? Because I never had any reactions to start with, but I've been working with three years and resin can build up over the time as far as your intolerance. So if you've been working with it for many years and you've never had a reaction, great. <laughs> if you're only new to it and you've not had a reaction, be aware that it can come. So protect yourself because it is a harsh chemical. It should never come in contact with skin or anything like that. Hence respirator, everything like that. Um, I have a place for everything and gets flustered if... oh. Stacey, you are like me. I get very flustered if things are not where they're meant to be. So, I mean, I'm listening to you all, but I'm just feeling my resin. There's no warmth there yet, which makes me a little bit nervous that maybe you're going to have to listen to me drone on for a little bit. So, <laughs> apologies. Uh, yes, you do get eczema. It does build up over time. Now, there is uh, a hot tip. If you are not aware of it already, this particular product here is good for putting on your skin. So you should really put it on your hands or your arm where potentially resin is going to touch your skin and it gives you a natural barrier and it helps protect you. So if you haven't already, consider this. Not necessarily in your eyes. <laughs> Hello, Paula. Welcome. Uh, but yeah, um, do, do, do consider. Uh, uh, resin build up over time or your tolerance over time hence why i got into jasmine light because i thought that i might um i thought i might have had to limit the amount of time i was working with resin when i started to get these bad reactions but i'm back on top of them now um but because i am up in the amount of time i'm working with it again but different brands do have different reactions for each individual uh can I hold that up again? Yes, I can. So it is the Trusted Calamine Lotion. Hello. She's so random. What a great name. So Calamine ro lo lo Lotion um, is good for you to rub on your hair. <laughs> no, don't rub it on your hair. Rub on the areas like your gloves or up your arms where potentially you might get resin uh, on you uh, and you'll find that that will help create a natural barrier and stop that little bit of reaction so hopefully uh, if you didn't know about that already another thing you may or may not be aware of is um latex oh no that's wrong one um, so latex is very good for putting in areas where you don't want resin nipples or runoffs or anything like that. It pulls off really nicely. Uh, so that's another hot tip. So Karen is strong in Australia and in Queensland. I just love Australia. I can't wait to emigrate back over there again. Hopefully within two years we'll be back there. Uh, Stacey, you're welcome. I hope when you took the screenshot your boss didn't see you doing that. Uh, calamine lotion was great back in the day for chicken pots and boils yes it does stop itchiness and it creates a nice barrier for resin i i used to when i had chicken pots cover myself all in that so yeah um i think we're up to date with the questions but keep having a dialogue if you haven't already thumbs up we are just playing the waiting game i'm afraid what i might do is try and force it i might put some heat into it to try and force it to cure quicker Oh, you're working from home, so all good. Brilliant. Go get yourself a little afternoon drink. <laughs> uh, Tia, Sam did her kitchen worktop yesterday, thinking of putting a layer of resin on it. How have you ever tried doing this? I haven't, but I have seen other people do it, and it looks beautiful. 
The only thing I would say is make sure the brand you're working with is specifically for countertops. Uh, it has to be hard, heat resistant, everything like that. So do your research, but I'm sure it's going to look beautiful. I think Mixed Media Girl, and I know you've got artists till death that do that kind of thing as well, but I think Mixed Media did one be just before she hit 100,000. She went into somebody's home and hit 100,000 subscribers while she was there, but she was doing a beach theme countertop and it gave you the tips on how to break it down and everything like that. But also Artists Till Death, uh, amazing artists out there. But they deal with, I think, Stone Cold a lot. That's specifically dealing in resin for countertops. So, yeah. Where am I? I am down in Bursledon, so near Southampton in the UK. Um, yeah, that's where I currently am. Um, all right, so I'm going to put my respirator on again. I'm not going to flip the camera to that angle yet. Uh, no point until we're ready for it but it's hideous to put on uh, because it's all connected at the back so I have to slide my hair through it make sure I've got no resin on there and then tighten it and I feel claustrophobic for the first little bit but um, other than that we're all good so and then you've got these two little things that you just pull here so it does have a quick release oh oh it's just feels unnatural to start with for me oh, look how it chunks up my cheeks and my eyes but at least hopefully i won't get any resin in there but i'm putting this on because this resin is a very strong smelling resin and all i'm going to do is put this on and put it over the top of the resin to try and force some heat into it to get it to start to cure as i say i've not worked with this resin much so i do not know how long it takes before it's going to start to heat very lightly just added some heat I don't know what that's going to do I think I get about 40 minutes working time out of this versus the master calf which is 20 minutes oh yeah it's really bad when you first put them on I think we're all feeling it Petra uh, help me feel oh so that's 20 minutes hey Siri stop <laughs> Hey Siri, set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes? I think we've got... <laughs> Sorry, I have to take my voice, <laughs> not my voice out, take the mask off like this so I can speak so it hears me, but... Uh... You can't hear me? No, I am going to put the camera near me at the minute. It's just very hard to speak with this. This is where I've got to get the mic worked out so you can hear me while I'm doing it. But this resin is so strong in, in smell to me. That I really do need to wear my respirator. But I've had my second vaccine. Uh, good luck with your second vaccine. Or first one. Yeah, so MCATs, welcome. Neil's had his second injection yesterday as well, so we're feeling quite good. Can you hear me now? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll try to project my voice. But... With sculptures and with resin, you just cannot put it down until it is uh, starting to cure or it's just going to go so flat and so brittle and it's going to fall off the side. So you want to try to um, protect the volume and so we want it to be fairly cured. So I'm so sorry that this is boring. <laughs> Maybe if I do a little dance for you. While we're waiting, you'll all stay with me. But I'm just going to release the respirator now because I, I don't want to wear it any longer than I need to. I get a little... Um, hurts the little nose there. How do you feel? That's okay. By the time you come back, Miss Felicia, we might be ready to pour the flowers. If I'd have known it would have taken this long, I would have pulled it in advance. But my master cast has got roughly 150 mil in volume. Um, so if I'd have waited long enough, we could have poured it in the other one. So be back soon. Oh no, don't, don't tell us if you're going to, uh, scare us. So this is a point where I am. Yeah, I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> I don't know how to entertain you all while it's, uh, 
while it's curing. Anyway, once I've done this today, I'm then going to go and sit in the garden for a little bit. I've decided I've caught up on some washing. I have rearranged my wardrobe and thrown away some stuff that I'm going to donate, should I say. And I've now put colour schemes together and I've never done that before. So, yeah. And I think I'm going to walk Zeus. Starting to warm up a little bit. I'm feeling it now. I think with this one, though, it starts to rapidly heat up and then we don't have a lot of working time. So, bear with us. I think we're on the home stretch, people. And then I'll be all panked with how quick I've got to get it down. It goes from nothing, warms up to that's it, you've missed your time. Yes, the garden is a lovely place to sit. Just get out there, watch the trees blowing in the wind. And yeah, 10.40 there. All right. I think that we're at a point where I might be able to start pouring because I'm feeling that heat. Might go a bit runny, but I might have to just control that area. We can pour a few petals and then if it is, all right, I've got to put the mask on. But before I do that, no, I'll put the mask on and then I'll rearrange her back to seeing what we're doing. All right, Paula, keep the guests entertained. <laughs> Thank you. All right, hopefully we'll get some more people back now that they can see that there's something happening. Apologies, I am taking you off the stand and we're going to flick you around. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. I really do appreciate your support. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to have to angle this so you can see. I am going to go for it. Oh, oh, here we go. Problem with the stand again. All right. Stop that wobbling. I'm just trying to... So you're not going to be able to see all the canvases, I'm afraid, but I will try and move it as we go. All right. Let's start with this side here where you're going to see. I'm just going to put a tiny little blob and see how that's responding. See what I mean about it is still moving quite a bit. I've got a tiny little lip around it, but not a lot. But I figure if we just go slow by the time. See, those two blended too much together. So they need to be separate. I suppose the advantage of... Um, Doing it this early is I can blend all right so you might not be able to see that I will take you nearer what I'm looking for is how much that's spreading is it going too flat and it is but I think it'll still be okay what I might need to do is keep these two colors separate because they are blending in together. So I'm going to swap that one over with that. So we've got a dark, a light, different colour, contrasting colours there, and we're going to see how we go. Hello, Manny dear. Welcome. All right. So let the business commence. Now, when you're pouring these down, you have to separate your petal quite a lot because you want to make sure that if they continue spreading, they are going to stay separate. And I'm just going to rotate in random different patterns to try and make some interesting potential petals. And because we've left it, or we're doing it fairly early, we should be able to get some nice blending in there. The only problem is I'm probably going to have a different kind of petal. Uh, for each leaf. I'm just trying to work it out. That is, the blue is lovely. I'm not necessarily a lover of having this purple in the middle. So, I am going to um, mix it up a little bit. So, I think to start with, I know that this is going to be a secondary colour. So, I'm just going to pop that out of the way. 
and then I'm just going to start pouring single single blobs and then if I do single blobs any leftover I can put in a coaster but we're just trying to keep them apart and give them a chance to spread so in a minute Cups are not the best for it. I'm going to do some milky ones now. As I start to like doing this, this is all still curing, and that's what you have to balance. If I left it all while it's on its last legs of curing, because I'm doing little uh, designs, by the end of it, the other ones won't pour at all. So. I'm still trying to control. See, they're very similar to the other one, so I might keep that to one side. And I'm going to go now with the, I did the lighter blue. I'm going to go with the, oh, look at that eye candy. I hope you can see it. This is where I normally have the camera close in while I'm, editing it I have made sure my boards are level oh, I'm just working out what space I've got and I'm trying to they're roughly the same size but they're not always going to be the same size that makes sense and I'm not worried by that let's put this one here I'm sorry about my heavy breathing in the mask but I'm definitely going with blues for my flowers my fantasy world So this is as hard as it gets really for flowers. Oh, I think I just touched the camera then with my mask. Ah. What I'm going to do is try a little bit of the milky colour in there. And I don't like them to be even. I like them to have an organic feel to them. Oh, oh sorry. Hey Siri, stop. Oh, Ooh, that, that milky thing in there. If you were doing a space nebula thing, Cosmic Carol, if you're still here, you might like that. As we stun it. Oh, here's my respirator in the camera again. Oh, so sorry. All right, that. You're malicious. All right, so I am just going to tilt my camera here. So that you can see a little bit of what I'm doing here. And we're coming in with some more of this deepest indigo. I absolutely am in love with this. And I think the people that's watched my videos this week know that. Alright, so that's all the deepest indigo used. Now I am going to add a little bit of this lighter blue in these ones. I really do like that look and it is spreading throughout that indigo blue beautifully. Oh, it's like a planet. Oh, yeah, it's just going with dribbles. This uh, resin, by the way, is rapidly heating up now. Um, I'm going to go with some more of this blue here. Spacing them out. I don't know if uh, this is all in camera angle for you. I hope so. Uh, 
that's two colours used. I'm just mindful that that is getting really near the edge. And I might put some in, um, turquoise in that just to add a gradating colour as well, just a tiny little bit. You know what, as well, if you, um, if you do have shapes that you don't enjoy with your flowers, you can always cut around the petals as well. You can sculpt them. All right, so that's that colour done. And then this part here, I just want to create a little bit of interest. So I'm going to now swivel you back this way. I will take you in for a close up on some of those petals. All right, what do I want to do with this? I think I'm going to add a tiny blob of pink in them and just let it do its thing. I'm not going to try and sculpt it. Because I know once I start folding my flower petals, you're going to get different patterns, different colours coming through, different points of interest. And that's what's exciting. Um, I might just do a couple of standalone pink ones. I'm running out of space though now. I think for the purpose of this project, find a little one there. Um, I don't think I'm going to get away with many more petals. The resin's at a beautiful uh, consistency now. Um, I could probably get a little one there. And uh, maybe in this bottom corner here. Who oh, knows? Because that's going to push it that way. That I've got a petal that's about to run over the edge, but that's okay. So from a petal point of view, that part is done. But I do have some resin left. So what are we going to do? I think I'm just going to put them in a coaster. Bear with me. Bear with me, my lovelies. scenes I'm trying to do something but I don't know if you're going to be able to see it now I can't use that there's too many bits in it I need to clean that all right so I'm going to pull you this side here bear with me I'm just gonna um, flip you around as I say Sorry, behind the scenes, I'm in a sticky mess, just trying to get my canvas ready. And then we're going to have a little bit of fun, hopefully, with leftovers. So before I take you to the leftovers, what I'm going to do is just take you out of the stand. And we're going to go close to these colours. I don't know if you're going to get that beautiful galaxy feel that's going on with that blue and yeah so this is just the preparation for the petals we're going over to the uh, pinks or should I say fuchsia blues and a little bit of that turquoise and we're just going to let these all cure and what I'm hoping to do now is Sorry, we're going down and I'm going to try and twist this. So we've got some leftovers. Ooh. All right, so I am going to try 
to see what I can create with these leftovers. So let me just get my stuff out of the way. Now I've not had time to prime the board as far as there's no colour on there. So I'm going to give it a go. It's a beautiful colour this. So something may happen with this, something may not happen with this. Have a little look. Ah, oh, just got bits everywhere. And even if we just create a nice base, I can come back and do some artwork over the top of it. I just don't want to waste the resin and I don't want to have to do another board of petals. So I'm just going to have some fun. And see if this inspires me um, to create something from it. I sometimes find leftovers are the best things and they're the most freeing as an artist because I just slap it on and hope something's going to come from it. And it gives you ideas for future projects. Literally, I'm scraping around my pots here. Sorry, I've gone very quiet while I'm doing this. <laughs> I can't create and speak sometimes, I just forget. Just going around my edges a little bit. I've got plenty of time to work with it. Why are we making Sharon? I don't know. Just something, hopefully, fresh. Going for a fresh feel. Oh, it's slapping there. <laughs> Alright. Let's get my edges. A little bit more blue. A little bit more blue left. Just going to blend that in. And then we're going to add a swipe of that fuchsia. Just again, making sure it's going over the edges. All right. Now, be kind. See if I can create anything with that now. Alright, take my sticky gloves off.
floating yet. But it might be the base of a good, uh, quite transparent. It is quite florally though. Just bear with me while I work out what I want to do with it. Might get my fingers in there. Alright, this is where I forget to talk out loud about what I'm thinking at the minute. I'm thinking the colours are lovely. The design is not necessarily anything uh, exciting. But, we're not over yet. Anyway, the main purpose of me being in here was to see the um, the flowers. I'm distracting you, I'm sorry. I'm taking you on another journey with me. I'm just looking for inspiration to come through. Not necessarily anything there. Sorry, I know this is off camera for you all now. all disappeared so this has absolutely made nothing <laughs> this is just my leftover for people that's coming in I'm just having fun and playing seeing if I can create anything with it looks like not this is how we go. Anyway. That's made nothing. <laughs> All right, let me bring you in for a close-up of the petals and then we'll get ready to say goodbye with you. But, absolute crap. Let me show you. So this has not made anything other than potentially a good backdrop for me to work with. So the colours are beautiful. I just didn't create anything spectacular with it. I'm just going to have a little go at swirling. This is where I just search for ideas. Where can I take it to? What can I do with it on the next layer to maybe bring some interest to it? And sometimes you just want a little bit of information. Yeah. It's quite romantic. It's not necessarily anything special, but 
I think it's a good base for something that I can work with. Yes, there's always a Sharon swirl, but we'll see what the colours do when they create. But this is what we were doing. We were creating our petals and we are going to come back in four hours time to see if they are ready to start sculpturing for our flowers. And I am now going to clean up, remove my respirator. Say thank you all so much for spending some time with me. And hopefully you'll come back in four hours time, but that depends on how it, long it takes to cure. So I'll see you then. Much love. Thank you so much. And if you haven't already, remember a thumbs up. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.